Everything I brought to stay over here because even though we both live in the same city, that city is LA and it can take 15 minutes or it can take an hour to get like 10 miles, maybe less. But I brought dinner today because I went to the grocery store. Well, I brought raw salmon to, for us to cook because it is just our go-to party meal. This tray's big enough to slice in. Got my banana we have to go just finished getting ready because i'm hanging out with my friend today my friend kayla is visiting she lives in seattle i met her when i was in high school in seattle for a little bit yeah i've known her for 13 years she's super chill like an awesome person i love her so i'll show you my outfit first look at this necklace it's actually a crystal that my hypnotherapist gave me she had some to like give away from a local jewelry artist, I think. I'm wearing jeans. These are my favorite jeans because they're actually so comfy. They're so wide leg. They're Urban Outfitters from BDG. I think that they're a cropped jean and that's why I didn't have to hem them. Probably gonna wear brown shoes. I think it's 60 degrees, that's pretty cold. I think it's 62, 63. Okay, I just got back. It was a really fun day. I love being with people who I feel like I can be myself around. The search is over. Let's open the Neato Ice Cube. The search is over. Their other product, the Gumdrop, is similar, but I haven't squished a Neato Ice Cube. They only had blue, so I didn't have a choice of the color, but the blue honestly looks pretty cool. It looks the most like an ice, icy. Oh my gosh. It's different than the Gumdrop. I have the Gumdrop at home. I'll compare them. This is like a lot smoother, and it's like very satisfying. See why this is just so different i've had such a productive morning so far i went to an apartment showing it fell through but it was apartment tour because i'm looking to move it was the right part of town but the pool was under construction and they didn't have an estimate of when it was going to be done and it was going to be months and it was not looking good and then after that i went to go pick up my prescription my ssris from Rite Aid, and so that is done, checked off the to-do list, and then I went to the, this was a fun errand, but I went to the toy store to pick up this, and then now I'm going to work. This is my outfit for work. Like what I would choose to wear on any day, so it's dope. Right now I have a job where I can like just wear what I would want to wear all the time. I never film at work because, you know, management, as most jobs I think would be. I don't know how people on TikTok film at their job, like target workers and stuff like that. It's usually people who are doing like back of house work where people just film their entire like shift at Target. I'm like, how did your manager let you do this? It's crazy how much calmer I can be when I leave super early. Like when I'm rushing. <sighs> Dolly a mauve long sleeve. Oh, sorry. My long sleeve because it's going to be... I'm closing, so it's going to be cold at night. And I'm just wearing my espresso sweats that I literally wear so much. I'm obsessed with them. But I got my drink. 
Oh, it's so good. I'll tell you what I get. Cold brew with three pumps of French vanilla and three pumps of cream. They're doing a deal where it's like $3 for the next like two weeks. So for a medium, like that's pretty, that's really big for a $3 coffee. Can't beat that, it's, at least in LA, you can't really beat that other than making it at home. This is my third package from Margella Fragrances. So I think they sent me a new perfume. I think it's not like the packaging that they have had in the past. This is called From the Garden. It says the fragrance description is earth and tomato leaves. Let's test it because I'm gonna shower anyway. I worked today from 9 a.m. to 4 p.m. and then there was two hours of traffic to get home. Okay, it's a very fresh scent. It's not usually something that I would personally go for. for I would use this. I would still, I would still use this on, yeah, it actually smells really good. Okay. Thank you, Margella. Replica. I brought it on my phone for like an hour and a half when I got home from work. Yeah, because what else do you do after a customer service shift? Because even though I don't have anything to really complain about my job specifically, like it is a blessing for me and perfect for me right now and I'm very thankful for it, but any customer service is just draining for me personally at least. I feel like I can't do anything after work except for quiet screen time where I'm quiet and I don't have to talk. Um, the screens are not quiet. Or that's why I go work out because I don't have to talk to anyone and it helps me decompress after work. But today I didn't even bring workout clothes just in case, which is what I usually do. I was like, no, I, there's, it's not, <laughs> yeah, that's, I was really tired this morning and I didn't want to. I knew that it was going to be a raw after work type of day, but now I'm all clean and I smell so good because of these. If you don't like to smell sweet, you will hate this, but if you love to smell sweet, you will love this. Brazil Nut Body Oil from Trader Joe's and the EOS Vanilla Cashmere Body Lotion from CVS or like Target. I'm just really excited to sleep in tomorrow. <laughs> I'm doing that. I don't think I'm going to set an alarm. Before I go to bed though, I need to put my apartment to bed because because it's absolutely in shambles and I don't want to start tomorrow with it looking like this. I have so many clothes to put away, it's actually insane. I just need to put away like a few random things. I feel like it is true. My environment reflects how my head is and right now I'm um tr kind of just very overwhelmed and cluttered mind. Like I have a, I don't have a clear mind right now, do I? Like, I don't know, I thought I've been feeling pretty good, but I think I'm actually just kind of distracting myself from all the things that I need to figure out. Because of that, my mind is very cluttered because of- Hey, no, 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 no. That's not a good way. That's not a good- There are always gonna be things to figure out. I don't need to go down this spiral of thinking I need to figure everything out again. Okay, no, we debunked that. We don't actually have to figure everything out. Like. We're just living life and figuring things out along the way and that's totally fine and can't be rushed. It's actually fine. I'm gonna be fine. I'm literally gonna clean up and have a clear mind tonight. So, I don't know. That's, yeah, like, okay. Thank you for your service. What I right now, oh my god. Jump scare. Good morning. Before my road lit peptide was like grainy and had sugary type specks in it. And I put it in a cup of boiling water and I'm gonna test if that did anything. Leaving for work in like 10 minutes. I'm closing tonight. Did it work? There's still specks. <laughs> yeah. It wasn't boiling water, but it was like pretty close to boiling temperature. 
my black outfit today. This is the long sleeve Swiftly race link. And then my scuba sweats. I'm bringing my lunch today. Good morning. I'm touring another apartment today. This morning, it's like 9.30 a.m. right now, and then I work at 2 p.m. So between like the end of the showing and my work, I'm gonna go to a yoga class and then work. I'm excited to see this place because it also has a pool and it's like in a part of town that I would probably be happy to live in, but it's raining today. I really loved how the pictures of this apartment was like super bright and had a lot of sunlight. So obviously today we're not gonna be seeing that in person i just got done looking at that apartment everything can be like perfect about an apartment but then there can be like one deal breaker and then it's like damn don't know if that one's gonna work i'm like in my old neighborhood from like when i was a kid right now and i think i'm gonna go to this big old like diner that i used to go to and get some food before the yoga class because it's only like 10 10 a.m right now and the yoga class is at noon and then work is at two Today's one of those days where I need an energy drink and I feel so guilty drinking energy drinks right now because I know that I have less anxiety when I have less caffeine so I've really been watching my caffeine intake but today is just one of those days so I'm gonna stop at Target on the way to the yoga class but we are doing great on time I was looking out the window but I was not really doing any philosophical thinking I was listening to the cancelled podcast because you know nope sorry I'm so sorry because somebody literally walked by right when I honked on accident. Also, I'm getting pimple patches at Target. The dopamine <laughs> of brain rot is so good. I'm sorry. Like, obviously not all the time. Remember to grab your receipt. I'm like, I'm not gonna drink too many energy drinks and then I'm cracking one of these open every video but <laughs> strawberry guava oh my god it's so early on a Sunday morning it's 8 30 a.m. right now I don't work today so I was like excited to sleep in but I had to move my car for my landlord because he's doing some construction and then there was no spot on the street so I took that as an excuse to get coffee. I think me and coffee have a toxic relationship because I go through phases where I don't like need coffee at all and then I go through phases where I am obsessed with coffee. I got my cold brew with vanilla and cream. My Spotify DJ is playing songs from 2016. So we can run free. Had a very. I laid down a lot of the day and I took a nap and I just woke up. And now it's 8 49 p.m. and I'm making breakfast for dinner for Andres and I. We went on a walk earlier, but it was so windy and cold. I'm in the Nickelodeon documentary.
The shape is like immaculate. I'm obsessed with this pink as well. I got the same color on my toes. It's Monday. I scheduled another apartment showing for Wednesday morning. I've been looking, but I realized maybe I'm not really a city girl. I grew up thinking I was a city girl because I lived in big cities and it's just what I knew. But like, what do I, I don't actually really go out into the big city like that. <laughs> like. I just got off of work and I pulled up to FedEx print and ship because I have to do I have to do an errand right now that I really don't want to do but I love myself and I want the best for myself and I'm also learning my anxiety is just like signals that are getting misread from my brain and my body and like my anxiety lies to me and that if I break things down it doesn't overwhelm me as much. So basically what I have to do right now is I'm applying for an apartment that I toured that I absolutely adore. I really do love this apartment. I'm trying to remain detached in a sense that like I do believe that I will end up exactly where I'm meant to be and I really do trust God and I trust that the universe always leads me to where I'm supposed to be because the apartment that I have been living in for the past like almost three years, it really has been my home for the past the years it's been my safe place like i'm so 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 grateful for it it was halloween when i was like searching for an apartment then i started envisioning and like manifesting the space that i wanted which is exactly the space that i ended up living in for the past three years i was manifesting that around halloween time of that year that before i moved in and then i had moved in by thanksgiving so it was a very 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 quick like came to fruition really quickly and i still believe that things can fall into place really quickly and i love to let the universe surprise me i think that that can be so magical and amazing if i don't get this place i'm gonna trust that it just wasn't meant for me and whatever is meant for me is gonna you know click better so the errand that i'm doing right now is that the landlord for this place that i am trying to apply to that i really like does everything old school so i'm gonna have to like print everything out i need to like go give the application back to her in person print out like all of my documents to give to her so that's why i'm at this fedex place because i don't have a printer or a scan or machine overwhelmed with all of these steps including like having to bring it to her in person but we're gonna do it and it's going to be worth it even if i don't get this place i want to give myself a fair shot and like apply and just try and not let fear and doubt stop me because like that's the worst thing you can do is let fear and doubt stop you from like doing things that could be better for you hey miss walker thank you for wanting a verse from me apologies for the wait sometimes it's hard to make the distractions up off you for enough time to jot your thoughts But fuck it, this morning I got to I'm thinking about you I heard you just had to another little baby Congratulations Okay, I think I got what I need Hopefully That wasn't as bad as I thought I have like 15 minutes to eat I got a spicy salmon roll from Ralph's I'm gonna go to a yoga bar class at 5.30 And it's 5 right now So I also got a Celsius quite gloomy out pretty the sky is well i went to yoga it was super fun and really hard because it was a bar class but now i'm gonna stay at my boyfriend's house and that was not planned from before so this is like this is the most amazing surprise because we're already planned to spend the next two nights together so that's three nights together and that's ideal for me nine days a week would be ideal for me. Just woke up from a nap. I have to shower now because we have our friend's birthday dinner. We have two separate friends' birthday dinners two nights in a row tonight and tomorrow night. I'm listening to Brooke and Colin make a podcast. I need to do my makeup and my hair, but I'm wearing my skin dress, I think, because it's like comfortable. But I'm gonna put this sweater on top because it's cold. But I don't really feel energized from my nap. I feel kind of groggy. We're going to a restaurant in Studio City, so it's going to be like a 45-minute drive. Is this cute? That like, is cute. Is it cute? I want to wear all black because you're wearing black. Yeah! Where's my beanie? All black fits. All black fit. 
take away the first week over here. It's pretty. start to the day I made us coffee. It's already 11.40 a.m. I have to leave at noon because I'm dropping off the apartment application today. Oh my goodness guys, I feel so good. I'm alone. Andres is doing homework at my apartment but I just dropped off the, <laughs> the apartment application. I honestly have been just having like the most like doubt creep in and it keeps creeping in and I'm just like I want to give up at every step of this process. Taking action and like just putting my every like my best foot forward through every step and I, I am very fortunate and privileged to be like in this journey and like being on this apartment search so like I'm super super thankful but I'm also just really proud because I get a lot of anxiety that can hinder me so much and that has hindered me a lot in life and I'm just like pushing past it and it feels really good but okay now we need to go to the third street promenade to get my friend a last minute part of her gift so I think I'm gonna go to Sephora let's go to the I want to try to be as quick as possible because I want to get back home to Andres so that we can go to the grocery store before because we also are bringing stuff to the party like ping pong balls and I don't know what else we're gonna get from the grocery store so it's 1 p.m. now. Should I keep this on? How many degrees is it outside right now? 56? Oh my goodness. That is freezing. Okay. As somebody who grew up in Santa Monica, I am hurt by the discourse about Santa Monica going downhill. But honestly, the Third Street Promenade like 15 years ago used to be amazing. 15 years ago, still like popping really like, it was just the spot, you know? But it's just not like... It's not what it used to be, you guys. The world isn't really what it used to be, and also nostalgia is fake. It's just missing a time that didn't exist. <laughs> I still love Santa Monica, and this part is cute, still cute, but it's like dead. Even the movie theater closed here. There used to be a really cute, nice AMC. When I was in middle school, this used to be the spot to come, and it was so fun. Maybe it can be revived. You never know. It still has a special place in my heart. Santa Monica slander does hurt me. Maybe when there's a Barnes & Noble here again, then it will revive this place. Because it used to have a bar huge Barnes & Noble. I got her gift. I was really good and I did not get anything for myself. And I think that she's gonna love her gift because she talked about this product. Got her the K18 hair oil and also the hair mask, the leave-in hair mask, so that she can see if she likes it. And I'm also putting in like some other cute little things in the bag, but I think I need to get a gift bag and then that's it. We got the stuff to bring to the party. Alcohol, ping pong, balls, balls, balls. and just food for me to have because I have zero groceries. Anyway, I have to go get ready now. Hopefully she, I didn't take it too literally when she said she wanted to try K18 hair products last night, but I'm straightening my hair. I haven't straightened my hair in years, but I used to straighten my hair every single day during high school because I used to have super... Are you talking to me? No. Oh. Love you though. Are we vlogging? Yeah. Oh, I'm not going to drop my cards. Keep this in. Always vlogging. Shout out to all my magic players out there. And to all my gamblers out there. You're one loss away from a big dub. Don't forget that. We don't necessarily endorse gambling, but we can shout out the magic Go to players. Vegas. Put it all on black. <laughs> I'm telling you this now. Put it all on black. We're in, not necessarily late. Oh yeah, we're going to be... In 10 minutes. We're going to be driving our friend Nadira. In 10 minutes? Holy it God. is... 5.07. Okay. I don't know if I like straight hair on me. I don't want to wear this white thing underneath, but I was going to be cold, so. Hello, everyone. I thrifted this top, and I thrifted this and this. And my back. I like the outfit. 
a lot more without the white thing underneath. There is no off season for streaming. My love, you want to go out? You don't. Happy birthday to you. It was really fun to go home and get some rest, but it was really fun. The cake was really good, and it was great seeing everybody, and it was a really sweet night. We just got home. It's midnight. Andres is in the shower, but I. I'm gonna make some. I'm gonna make a little snack for us because we did eat. We're kind of hungry. We want to eat before we go to bed so that it just feels better in the morning, you know, when you eat before bed. So I'm gonna make us some of these from Trader Joe's. The air fryer. It's raining out. It's like 11 a.m. right now and I picked up a shift at 1.30 p.m. So we woke up late. We went to bed late and yeah, it was a good night, but I definitely feel tired. But look at this. I actually want to cry. It's so beautiful from my friend Nadira who we drove, who I told you we were driving um, our friend to the birthday party. And it was not my birthday, but I got a gift and that's just so sweet. It's an orchid. I mean, hopefully I'm gonna work. My shift didn't get approved because I picked it up like last minute. My coworker's not gonna go, so like I'm thinking they're gonna need someone. So it's gonna like get approved when I get there. I mean, I could call and like ask, but I'd rather just literally go. Okay, I got off of work. I ended up picking up the shift. It's all good. It was like 